So in the previous video we looked at creating peeling paint using anchor points. In that video I mentioned that you can use generators to add some extra control to the peeling paint. In that video however we didn't need to set up anything to get the generators to work. In some instances however there is some setup involved to get generators to work with anchor points. This is especially true when we want to add additional damage detail or printed text into the metal that we haven't sculpted in ZBrush or Blender and haven't baked out the proper curvature and AO maps to feed into substance for the generators to use. This method of creating damaged or text can be incredibly useful and actually if done right it avoids a typical destructive workflow that sculpting and baking has. This process is very simple but you might miss some essential steps along the way to get them working so hopefully this video will prove beneficial to you. So let's take a look at this pipe wrench. Let's pretend we want to add some printed text to the side of the wrench. We'll set up the folder and layers in a similar way to the peeling paint video. First we have the text layer. This will act as our reference for all the effects to be applied to. This is the layer that we will create our text in. Create our anchor point, rename it to something appropriate and remember to place the anchor at the top of the stack in this layer. Just before I go into the next layer, I want to adjust the colour of the text so that I can darken the metal layer a little bit. I'll turn off the normal, height and metal parameters as they're not needed. Then I'll add a filter above the paint effect and add a blur. This will create a less sharp stamp effect. Just remember that any additional layer effects need to be placed below the anchor point, otherwise they won't work properly. Secondly, we want to create a height layer to control the depth of the text. Add a black mask. Remove all material parameters but the height. Create a fill effect in the stack and rename it to something identifiable like text anchor ref. Go into grayscale and select the appropriate anchor point. This is where we will reference and connect the text layer for this height effect. Adjust the height value to something you're happy with. Now we want to add some scratch detail because currently it doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the asset. We'll create a new fill layer, rename it to something appropriate like text scratch detail, remove normal and height material parameters as they're not needed, add a black mask, go to our smart masks and look for the smart mask named edges scratched and drag that onto the mask. Now here's the important part. Scroll down till you see micro details. Open it up and set micro height to true. Now this has enabled us to use any details that we have created using the anchor system in those layers below. Now we just need to feed all of that data from our anchor point to this generator. To do that we scroll down and we see at the bottom the micro height slot. Click it and select our anchor point. Now the generator is utilizing the height detail we've created in the layers below. They're now linked. Make sure to invert the levels so the scratches appear on the outside edge of the text rather than on the inside. If we scroll back up to the micro details parameter, you'll notice that we have some more control over how the smart masks interacts with the new height detail. Play around with these settings till you strike a good balance. but there's some more work to be done before we are finished. You may notice that the generator is applying the effects to the entire asset. That's because we've added an additional generator at top of what we already have. We could go back into the generators I'm already using and add the micro height in those generators. But I find that doing it this way gives me more control over this particular text detail. I don't have to worry about changing anything I've already got going. So 
To fix this, we can just set the generator's blend mode to multiply. This will enable us to paint into the mask where we want the effects to be used. I tend to set my stroke capacity quite low and build up the scratch detail there. Here I'm just tweaking the overall opacity of the text to give some layering. You could do the same or use some custom grunges set to subtract to gain some nice layer variation quite easily. And that's it. Not as complicated as you probably thought, right? If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and to share with your parents, your brothers and sisters, your grandparents, your dog and the old lady down the street. Heck, even that random dude at the bus stop. Anyway, peace.